make sure I got good color evenness up here. Look at my little gray hair that's sticking up there. This is um agey day. <laughs> Where I'm very aware of my age. You'll have those days for those of you who are younger. Don't freak out. It's just part of part of the journey. Part of the journey. Okay, I think that's enough for my eyes. I have no idea how long this is going to go. <laughs> so I'll put that back. And now it's time to line. It's time to line. I'm just going to keep going if it goes into two. It wouldn't be unusual for me at all. <laughs> okay, so I am going to first, I've learned, it's better to go ahead and do your, to go ahead and do your, um, first of all, I want to make sure that I kind of blend the edges. And I just use the outer part of my hand, of my hand to kind of just do like that. And just any line again that was there. And the same thing here. Just kind of go straight up and pass it. And again, always keep your little... There's the pink one now. <laughs> keep your little makeup um, cloth. Why well, don't I keep that right over here? Anyway, I am going to use my little compact here. This is my little Marc Jacobs compact. And I am going to curl my lashes. So first of all, just lay it down on the lid. And just when you put a little pressure on it, it kind of pops your lashes up and that's when you clamp down. Or that's what my easiest method has been. I'm seeing a little fallout. I can't get it. <laughs> yep, and today I just may use some waterproof. I haven't used waterproof a lot and um, that's just because day in, day out, I'm not really even leaving my house like a lot of people aren't. And you know, because I'm working from home, and I try not to go into stores. I am very aware now of um, my age and COVID. So I'm just trying to be a little more careful about not going out. Now I'm lining, and I'm going to be using this. Is I can never not look at this. It's from DHC, and it's the Liquid Eyeliner EX. This is Perfect Pro Makeup Liquid Eyeliner EX, and it's an actual brush that is so fine. For those of you that don't like a big line, that you couldn't do any better than this. It is the thinnest, most exactest <laughs> line you will ever find. Uh, Stila has a, a di and, and Tarte both have one very, very similar. If you don't want to order this online. And I always do have to kind of reinforce on the edge because, um, oh, I haven't done that one yet. Oops. I just mashed it by accident because it's spring-loaded. Um, the cap's spring-loaded, it seems. All right, and so now since I've curled my lashes and I've put on my liner, I'm putting on my liner after I curl my lashes, but before I put on my mascara. I used to, um, put on my liner and then curl my lashes and it would take it right back off. The eyelash curler would mess it up because you know it lays right on your lid. And so now I'm just tipping out the ends of my lashes. And then I'm starting on the outer area and getting right at the base. Maybe a little wiggle right at the base. Just make sure you're getting it all. And looking down into the mirror, it'll, you'll be less likely to if you have longer lashes to hit right up there. Even if you don't, sometimes you can hit that. I don't have really long lashes, but when I curl them, they're more straight up, and so, yes, I have more of a chance of that happening. I'm going to tip out the edge. And again. And I'll probably do three coats today, so I don't know if I'll get all that on camera. So, I just hit my nose. And then the lower lash. Let the first pass as well. Kind of wiggle right at the base. And it gets color right in the lash base. And it kind of preps your eye for the next round. Y'all comment below if you still like videos. That are getting ready with me videos. Just let me know. I don't have to get ready on camera. But I figure it's always a good time to talk. Like us ladies, you can just throw me on while you're getting ready in the morning. It's like you're getting ready with somebody. It's not like you are. You are getting ready with somebody. Me. <laughs> and again, I've just put this, um, the metal band right down on the lid. 
you know, make sure your the opening, your lashes go through that. And then once you put just the tiniest bit of pressure, it causes the lashes to pop up, and that's when you clamp down on them. And you can do the two um, method where I squeeze down, getting them straight up, and then I do it one more time, a different crimp, so that it's not always the same crimp. And I put my elbow up and put this back more to the um, the socket, and it makes more instead of just straight up, it's more of a curl. Today I'm just going straight up. I don't know why. I don't know why I just decided to do things different this morning. Oh, now I got to do my liner. Again, we're using the DHC. And I'm using this wonderful Mark Jacobs is who this is, and that's the bronzer. I keep forgetting to take it in there and use it as bronzer. I keep using it as a mirror. <laughs> I always do a much cleaner line on this side. It's it's just because when you're dragging across on the other side, it just seems to lay down better than when I drag from the same side. That seems to make it skip, you know? Can y'all see? Just little dashes, then go in front of the last dash and go to it. And then I may reinforce if I see I missed a little. And if there's a really obvious angle difference, like right there, I may just even it up. I did a really bad job of that over here. Yeah. I just did it again. See how much harder it is to do over here? It just is. even it up sometimes I feel like the more I mess it up <laughs> sometimes it's good just to say I'm good I'm done and that's what I'm gonna do with the liner today okay but it's still a good liner I just wasn't having the most even day today all right now I'm gonna use oh by the way the mascara I'm using is Maybelline Rocket Volume Express which is one of my absolute favorite mascaras I've just gotten aware of for waterproof mascara this is because it's got this little comb and it's completely rounded some of them flatten their combs. Some of them don't have combs. They have bristle brushes, like spoolie brushes. And this, just when you have a really good formula, and this that's the other key, is this is a really thick, good formula. And because it's thick, it's going to put a lot on there that's really thick. But when you have a little comb brush, it combs it also right back off. So it looks thick, but then it thins it back out so that you don't have clumps. You may have an occasional clump, but then you just comb it back off. And it'll come right off the end. I always point my inner lashes towards the nose. And my outer lashes, I tip them down a little towards the ear. So they'll kind of stand out. You want you don't want them all in a straight little row. You want to make them stand out a little bit. You want a fan effect. Or I do. It depends on what you like. Everybody likes something different. Or some people like mostly the same. Who knows? Who really does know? Okay, I'm just wiggling just a little and pulling down for first pass here. And so that's first pass. Some people would say that's plenty of mascara for me. And that is fine. I am a mascara girl. I like a lot of mascara. I just do. I'm not saying I like to see it on other people. That's how I like my eyes. So I'll go around in the barrel and pull out. And when it goes like that. If you'll notice, it has just a little bit on the edge, and that's what you tip with. It's very loose. It's not packed to the brush, so you're just going to get those little tip endings, which makes the lashes look longer. You can see that before I even start raking. <laughs> and then your raking is just adding more to the last time. That's why I do kind of need to do this quickly, because as the straw, they, as the straws, they get a little brittle or a little um, hardened. Because that's how uh, waterproof works. That's why it works. Because it dries so quick. But you want it to be have a little bit of moisture to it. So that you can match the second coat to the first coat and so on. I'm probably going to do three coats. Again, I'm being real careful to get the inner and outer corner. Because that's going to be the most noticeable lashes. And I'm going to go ahead and start tipping the lower lash. So once you tip 
all the way across like that, then pull down with the tip end. And just makes a little straight, unless you do like that and have a major boo-boo, like I just did. I do have my little um, cotton buds, too, to use, but my finger worked that time. <laughs> Sometimes your fingers and your hands are the best tools you have, as we know in life. But especially for makeup, sometimes you can just get it. Or sometimes you can just blend it with your own finger. Okay, so that's round two. Some people would say that is where they're going to stop. So this is one, this is two. I could. But I like a lot of mascara. So now, now sometimes I'll get to round three. I don't think I've ever really been to round four unless I was going out for a long time at night. Now that I am going to have to get one of these because that was a major boo-boo. I just dragged right across the color and I don't want a real obvious boo-boo like that. Yeah, got it. So now I've tipped across that when I dragged. I made a boo-boo. We fixed it. Now I'm going to tip these out even more. And I'm really trying to rake through hard make sure I get any clumps off. And then I'm tipping out the, the inner and the outer. My lashes as I'm getting older just aren't longer. They just aren't. And now I'm going to tip under. I don't have a lot left on the brush so this isn't working as well as it did on the other eye. Just there's less on the brush to work with. But we've got the tips. A little, there you go. Sometimes you go back and forth like that to get the end, and then you pull down to tip it. And you want to make them little, little straight lines. I do feel like Bob Goss right now. Because that's two rounds. I like it okay. But for fun, I'm going. Actually, you know what? I think I'll leave it at that. I think this is fine. So this is